Make hips, all my friends here at C one point three. Twenty five after six on Thursday morning. Hello, Linda and Josh here. Top of thirty three degrees. Blue sky, sunshine today, and that thirty three is going to stay around most of the week as well. Mardi Gras is on this weekend in now, Sydney. Saturday night, it's happening. And uh, we've got a local heading in there and uh, dressing right up. Local drag mm-hmm. queen, Charismatic's on the phone this morning. Hey, Cara. Hi. Good morning. How are you? We're fantastic. Happy Mardi Gras week. Yes. Happy Mardi Gras. What are you What are you boys and girls doing? Getting some glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Getting some glitter. <laughs> well, I just got a new puppy, so maybe we can dress up. Oh, so why not? Yeah. Why not? You can get lots of cute costumes for little puppies now. Oh, I've already spent a whole lot of money on a cute costume. Cara, you do not want to know Lyndall's (laughs) bill for the amount of costumes she's got for the little puppies. It's a bit stupid. Yeah. Anyway, look, it is Mardi Gras week, and uh, Cara, you're a local, and you're going to be uh, going in your first Mardi Gras parade this weekend. This is actually going to be the first year that my parents will be marching with me. So that. Yeah, um, it was. It's all kind of really exciting. <laughs> um, the last time I did Mardi Gras, it was lots of glitter. So if you do take your little puppy along or dress up, it'll be a, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this year I'm marching with P Flag, which is um, um, P Flag. Yes. Yeah, so parents and friends of lesbian and gays. It's a um, basically it's an Australia wide organisation, um, and they're all about bringing families and youth together. And it's just a massive support group. Um, designed to basically keep families together that have queer youth. So it's basically, they provide information and counselling and, you know, all the services that kind of help people understand, you know, what's the queer community about? Is it scary? No, it's not. And all that other cool stuff. I'm guessing and, your mum and dad are excited. Well, they're excited because they're excited because I'm, you know, with them, but I'll be with them as charismatic. So that's really yeah. exciting for them. <laughs> How did your parents first take uh, you wanting to perform in drag? Oh, gee. So when I first ever dabbled in the whole drag thing, and it was really tragic, um, was when I did my high school drama performance at Broughton College yeah. in Menangle Park. Mm. Um, and I went, okay, let's create a character. So I did the whole Queen of Hearts thing as Dolores. And I gave it a name. So it was Dolores, and I and yeah. I tragically drew a massive eyebrow on my face, oh, really wow. blocky makeup, and an apron, a red apron around my waist, and called it a skirt. Oh, <laughs> and, that's brilliant! <laughs> so you know, back in the day, um, and Mum's like, never do that again. Compared to now, where it's um, I've created this character that's more high glamour and more makeup and no aprons and you know, dodgy done biro eyebrows. Well, just um, on the makeup though, Cara. <laughs> yeah. I know that, you know, normally, Josh, for us girls, it mm. takes a while to get ready. Yeah, yeah. To do drag makeup, <laughs> Cara, is, there's a whole lot of effort that's involved. How many hours does it actually take to get you ready into character? I remember when I first started, it took me three hours to Ooh. put it all together. Whoa. And that, that's because I didn't know what I was doing. I've nailed it down to 33 minutes. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. you, you need to come along and give <laughs> Lyndall some tips about how to put makeup on Express Day. <laughs> hey, look, you've been on Australia's Got Talent recently as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. It was amazing. Uh, I had no idea how much, you know, behind the scenes work goes into it. The audition in Melbourne was out of this world and hearing the feedback from Kelly Osborne where she had said, one, she commented how amazing my voice was and that she'd seen many drag queens around the world that that try and sing or sing and she hadn't seen many performers that sing like me. So that was a huge compliment that I took away from the show. And the other comment was on my parents of how supportive and open-minded Australia is. Mm. And, it, you know, it was reflecting on that comment that I was like, you know, I'm really lucky. You know, to share that with Australia was amazing. And to have people like that in your life, like your mum and dad, is just incredible. Absolutely. But look, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning, Cara. We really appreciate your time. Have a great weekend with your parents this weekend and happy Mardi Gras. We'll do happy Mardi Gras.